Namaskar students. So today we shall discuss sublimation experiment. First of all, we shall discuss some basic terms. We, as we have already discussed, what is making. when two or more substances are combined without chemical reaction if there is no chemical bond between substances then a mixture is formed now there are two types of mixture homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture Homogeneous mixture is that mixture in which composition is uniform. For example, air, air is a homogeneous mixture. Soft drinks like Pepsi, 7-Up, Coca-Cola, these are homogeneous mixtures in other words what is composition is uniform when you mix two or more than two substances and you see only one substance that is known as homogeneous mixture for example if I have NaCl in water if I dissolve NaCl in water when this NaCl will be dissolved do you see this NaCl in water no it is soluble in water you see only water so this mixture is known as homogeneous mixture and homogeneous mixture is also known as solution and the component which is present in a smaller amount that is known as solute and the component which is present in larger amount that is known as solvent so here water is solvent and NaCl is solute. Now how many components here? NaCl and water. There are two components. It is also known as binary mixture. Binary mixture. Binary means two. So the mixture which contains two components that is known as binary mixture. Okay, now what is heterogeneous mixture? The mixture in which composition is not uniform. Composition is not uniform. In other words, when you mix two or more than two substances and you see all substances, then the mixture is known as heterogeneous mixture for example if I dissolve sand in water now this sand is insoluble in water then mixture will be heterogeneous mixture here composition is not uniform okay students we can easily separate this mixture into its components by using simple physical methods so if we have NaCl and sand how can we separate this one it is heterogeneous mixture we shall use two techniques first we shall dissolve all this mixture into water then this NaCl will be soluble in water okay now here if we dissolve this one NaCl plus sand in water so this NaCl will be dissolved in this water but this is sand 
is insoluble in water so it will remain in the bottom so we shall use here two techniques first we shall use filtration process how it can be done here it is funnel and we will put a filter paper inside the funnel so when we pour this mixture then what will happen water with NaCl this mixture will come here and sand will remain here on the filter paper sand will not pass through the filter paper so any substance that remains on the filter paper that is known as residue and the substance that comes down that is known as filtrate Now in this filtrate, there is uh, NaCl and water. Now our next process will be crystallization. How? We take this one in China dish. Here mixture when we heat this china dish this mixture then water evaporates water changes to vapors and we have crystals of NaCl so for this type of mixture if one substance is soluble in water then we use two steps one is filtration and other is crystallization or simply we can say evaporation water evaporates and the crystals of solid substance remains behind okay now if we have such mixture in which both substances are not soluble like in our today's experiment in this experiment we shall separate a sublime solid and sand naphthalene and sand this naphthalene is a sublime solid what is sublime solid the substance which changes from solid to gas directly without going to liquid state that is known as sublime solid and the process in which solid substance changes to gas is known as sublimation sublimation there are solid substances which directly change from solid to gas for example dry ice what is dry ice solid co2 ammonium chloride and naphthalene etc also iodine okay now how we will perform this experiment we will take our mixture in china dish and we will put funnel in inverted position and we shall cover from here with cotton when we heat this mixture this naphthalene changes from solid to gas it will come here so when it will attach with the walls of this funnel due to coldness here it again changes from vapors to 
solid so here it becomes solid again in a pure form so this purified naphthalene is known as sublimate sublimate the substance after purification through sublimation is known as sublimate okay friends so this is our simple experiment and you can watch another video about the performance the link of that video will be given in the description